Welcome back, folks, to what possibly could be the final part of Let's Play Swords and Sandals 4. You guys know if it's the final part, obviously, but I don't. Anyway, in the last episode, we beat the Fallen Emperor Antares, and now we battle Ultratus Omega. Level 75 Paladin, the final arena champion in the game. Now, I've spent all my money on buying a hat. Uh, it pretty much gives me the same armor as the ninja mask, but it gives me six extra vitality. The bamboo hat of the magi, so it's eight plus eight to vitality. We're as ready as we'll ever be to battle Ulta uh, Ultratus Omega. So, I've got two challenges I want to do before I finish this let's play. The first thing is to beat Ultratus Omega. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. To beat Ultratus Omega in battle. The second thing is, well, that's not a good start, but also the second thing is to then win the board after I beat Ultratus Omega. That's the challenge I've set myself. So, if I can do both, the Let's Play ends in victory. We've defeated all the arena champions on the board and in battle. It will be very horrible if someone was to beat Antares, uh, beat Ultratus Omega before I do. That would suck. But it looks like maybe Xander might give it a go. Everyone's getting money here. Formerly Pete needs to get some money. And he's going to get some money. There you go. 60 gold at the moment. Ultratus is bat. Oh, God. He's battling me. He's battling me. Okay. Okay. That armor and health. That damage. Oh, God. He's going to one-hit me, isn't he? He's not. But he was mighty close. Jesus. This is going to be way tougher than I, than I thought. Way tougher. Uh, okay, he's as tough as he ever has been. Oh, God. All right. Come on, Pete. It's time for vengeance. Now we get the first turn. Bring it, Ultratus Omega. When he gets half, loses gold. Okay. Right, now we get the first turn. And I'm attacking. Oh, and he one-hits me again! Oh, God. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Pete, can you use that sword and just stab him with it? That'd be nice. Oh, God, this is going to take ages, this is, isn't it? This is going to take ages. And he got a sandal! Damn it! Ugh. Ultratus! Why, Ultratus? Why? Why are you so good? Well, you are the final arena champion, I guess, so that makes sense. He's also rolling sixes. Consecutive sixes. And Xander beats him? How? Like, how do these how do these just basic guys that I could kill in, like, two hits beat Ultratus like that? I don't understand. I'm going this way to get some money. Because I damn well need it. Okay, that ended well for him. That's not good. Now he's probably more powerful. Oh, God. And Pete's losing money. No! All right. Maybe a bit of grinding. Maybe the needed here. I'll probably do that off screen. But it's probably needed. What? How the hell did that happen? He went backwards. And won. That is the first time I've seen that. Jesus. Okay, that happened. Ultratus Omega did win. So that, that that's annoying for me. <laughs> oh well. So there you go, Ultratus Omega wins. We finished second though. And leveled up. That is actually good. Alright, well, I'm going to do some level grinding. And fight Ultratus. I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back and we have found Ultratus Omega. So formerly Pete is now up to level 87. And even though there is nothing different with him um, appearance-wise, there have been a lot of changes. First off, I might as well go through the whole story of this first. So I've spent the last three hours pretty much battling Otratus Omega, getting his strategies down pat, and then finding ways to counter them. So, the first thing that Pete obviously needed was more health. Uh, Pete, I think, has about 900 health at this point. Enough to withstand a couple of Ultratus Omega's attacks. Second thing, and this is the biggest flaw in formerly Pete's initial arsenal 
when we fought on uh, old Trotz Omega at the start of the video, uh, which was his spells just weren't up to scratch. So, um, I obviously leveled up a lot. Um, I got a lot of magic point. Uh, well, I got a lot of um, vitality points. But I've been spending the gold on getting better spells. Now, Ultratus Omega is weak to, well, is a neutral to spells. He's neutral to spells bar lightning-based spells. So, formerly Pete did have two lightning-based spells in his arsenal. He now, lo he now no longer has them. They've been replaced with spells that are neutral damage to Ultratus Omega. Now, Ultratus Omega usually does three, maybe four different strategies. He will increase his own armor. I know that much, with armor spells. I don't mind these, because I do more damage than he can replenish his armor. Plus, it reduces his magic. That's fine. The second thing that he can do is just wail on you with spells, specifically lightning-based spells. So, I actually now have uh, the spell Lightning Resist, which, um, because Formerly Pete's magic is so high, for the next 10 rounds of battle, Formerly Pete's uh, any lightning based damage done to Formerly Pete is reduced by half. So any damage that would be 700, 700 damage becomes 350. Something that Formerly Pete can take a lot better. For some reason, Ultratus Omega has also got uh, the weakest ice spell. Um, which is uh, Chill Bolt. Which does 150 damage. This Formerly Pete can take easily, so I don't need to worry about that. The only other strategy that I have not been able to sort out yet is just his brute power attacks. If he uses that, I'm screwed. Or I need to hope I dodge, or he, or I block, or he misses. Let's go. So yes, I have certainly uh, got his number here, but can I beat him? I have beaten Ultratus Omega a couple of times, uh, but those are off camera. So this is why I think at level 87, I think Pete is ready. Pete is ready to battle Ultratus Omega. Finally, and hopefully win. Let's lose all our money, why not? Because we want to get right to uh, that first... Yeah, that first lovely battle. I'll try to make us already lost. That's, that doesn't really mean anything. Now, so that's the first thing. I can now, I know I can beat Ultratus Omega. Whether I can beat him here, though, is a different story. So yeah, here's Formula Pete. Nearly 100 health now. That's really good. And here are his spells. There we have Spectre of Death. Then we have Dire Fireball, Venom Blast, Ice Shards, and Realm of Mor Requiem of Morning, uh, which are all level three base spells. Then we got a couple of level one spells: uh, Acid Missile and Chilva, and my Lightning Resist. So all is good there. Now, as much as I do want to beat Ultratus Omega and beat Ultratus Omega on screen, the other condition for me to complete this Let's Play is to beat Ultratus Omega on the board as well. So I need to keep my money up, get some fake masks, possible sandals, and win. Because I'll charge the Omega and my other opponents are not going to make it easy for me. There you go. Already there, they're gaining on Pete. Pete is getting some money though, which is good. Very good. I'll charge the Omega is losing money and that's also good in its own right. I'm also worried about the fact of any of these gits actually battling El Tratus Omega. Right, you're battling me. I don't mind that one bit. I will, uh... I will take half your gold. Rat. What a name. Oh, that's a crit. But Pete's got so much health at this point. He's pretty much now he's a tank. He's a mage tank. So yeah, good old formerly Pete there. Bit of damage. All right, a four. I'm going to go to the castle and play Badlands a bit. Just try and get some money, I guess. Oh, cactus. Bloody cactus. Yes, I'll take that out. Oi, 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 stop, stop. Stop, stop, there you go. I'm running on health! Pete, stop! Go! Oh god, look at all that stuff. And then I died to rocks, but that's 40 gold, I'll take it. Puts me even further in the lead. Please don't battle me. Okay. I need to battle him, but I need to get the first move as well. It's a, it, it, just so I can get our lightning resist off before he can get the damage in. Damn it, this isn't good. I need to get there first. I need to get there before that guy behind me. Right, Tratus Omega's getting unlucky. Hopefully his luck stays like that. Right. Okay. As long as I get two or higher here, we will have our battle with Tratus Omega. Don't you dare. You sod! Five. Fine. I'll go this way then to battle Tratus Omega. 
God damn it! Fine. Right, delayed for three turns. So here we go. The rematch with Ultratus Omega. Right, first off, cast Lightning Resist. Oh, he's gone for Impervious. That's fine. That's only for physical defense. Plus, he wasted a lot of magic on that. Spectre of Death for 980 damage. Ah, oh, he's going for his physical. That's not good. Come on, Pete. No! Ah, oh, it's he went for his brute force tactic. Damn it. It's the only tactic I have not got a strategy for, is brute force. I've got a strategy for every other tactic, but not brute force. Brute force I just can't deal with as well. Uh, all right, we will get a win. We will get a win against him. Right, rats, rats out the game. That's fine. I don't really care about rat too much. Right there. Oh no, I think it's little. Yeah, little fat kid's gone for a, gone for a toilet break. Good to know. We are also winning so far. We've won two battles so far. Ultratus Omega has won one. He's not got the money so far to uh, be a big threat when it comes to actually winning this board. Formerly Pete is stuck for one more turn. And they're getting screwed. That's good for me to get some money and to get my that to press home my advantage here. Okay, come on, Pete. Get moving. A two. Oh, God. I'll throw some coins for him. I gained a charisma point. It's not that useful against Ultratus Omega, but still. He's still getting very unlucky. He's in third place. Man, they are both getting unlucky. That gives Pete a great chance to move forward. Or, in this case, move backwards. God damn it. At least it's only for one turn. I'll take it. God, Ultratus Omega is just getting really unlucky with his rolls. Scheming... Kurjibu... On the other hand, he's doing alright. One. Oh god, not another one of these. So I'll give it up. Oh, fine. I don't care about losing gold at this point. It's not about gold now. It's about beating Ultratus Omega, who is still rolling ones or twos. Right, we will battle. Do you know I'm going to delay you? I don't need the money, and you don't have much money to give anyway, so. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to simply delay you and beat you. Right. Right, so he's delayed. I just need to beat Ultratus Omega here. Right, what have we got here? Epic battle. Okay, let's bet. Let's bet on Beast Force. Come on, Beast Force. You've got this. You haven't got this. You're losing. Come on, Beast Force. Win better. Oh god, they're down to one. That was a massacre. I should have gone for the Death Imperium. Oh well. I don't really need money at this point. As I said, it's just about beating Ultratus Omega. He's finally over. And swaps with him. Okay, so he can't battle me. I'm actually all right with that. All right, come on. Give me a fire of six. Yes! All right, Fate Mask. This is great. This puts me even further ahead now because I've got that Fate Mask. Ultratus Omega is getting some form of money. But here comes the battle. We're going again. What? Oh, God. Okay, this could be horrible. What strategy are we going to get from Ultratus Omega? Come on! I'm banking. I'm banking on his lightning strategy. Oh, no, it's not. Damn it, he's done it again, hasn't he? Oh, he missed. Come on. Oh! Ugh. Okay, so that would have done a lot more damage than it did usually. Oh, bugger! Well, that didn't work. I am dead again. Technically still alive, actually. Ah! I beat him off screen. That's the most annoying thing about it. I think I've still won this. Even with me being dead. I think I'll still win this. But still, that's frustrating. Ah. Hmm. Alright. Well, I will keep going. I will still keep going. Because, damn it, he's going to get his ass kicked at some point. We did actually win the match. But we didn't beat Ultratus Omega, which means this Let's Play is still not over. We're up to level 88, though. More vitality is needed. All right, let's try again.
Right, here we go again. I'll try to zoom mega. Does he keep changing his, like, what he is? He's a fighter now. Does he keep changing what character he is? Oh, God. That's even worse. Because I went up against Bulky Paladin, Ultratus Omega. I think I beat him as Mage. But him as Fighter, he's going to kick my ass, isn't he? Ugh, that's not good. I will battle this guy, though, for some money. This Yeti Human Paladin. Who sounds like a dog for some reason. Poor Yeti man. 816 damage to kick off. Followed by another 590. Jeez, this guy's got a lot of... Uh... Yeah! A lot of resistance to everything, actually, which is shocking. He done all that from resistance to magic, but still didn't do enough to beat Pete. Right. Now we're against the fighter variant. And I'm not pleased. Because the fighter variant is probably the worst. If I know my variants. I mean, Bard's probably the best, easiest variant. But... I still wouldn't want to fight it. Alright. Whether this will be my best chance to beat him or not, I don't know. Let's do a bit of Boulder of Doom here. If I don't win it right here, we're going to another episode. So there we go. And then the next episode will be the one where we win. Definitely. And we beat form uh, we, we beat Formerly Pete? No, we beat the bloody old Charter Omega. Right. 32 gold. 102 is good. Don't get me wrong. Good, good amount of money. That's a better amount of money. How old Charter Omega can actually fit himself into a uh, tavern, I don't know. Right, I need to hit a four or higher. So I hit a one. A sandal is nice, don't get me wrong. Because if I do beat Ultra Omega, I still need to win. Right, they're battling. Please don't kill him. Right, you've delayed him. That's fine. Oh, don't battle him again. No! No! <sighs> okay, you took money. Alright, just everyone's teaming up on Ultra Omega. It's like, I want to join in, damn it. I want to kick his ass too. Let's see how, diff how uh, different the fighter variant is. Because that Paladin variant was very tough. Very tough. I think I'll defeat the, like, either a Mage variant or a Bard variant. So I'm not sure what a Fighter variant would be like. Oh god, I need to win this. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of health as well. Oh god. Alright, resist. Immediately dead. Alright. Fighter variant. Ultra and Mega. I don't do well against. At all. <sighs> okay. I'm not sure if I actually still win this because of my sandal. I may actually still win this because of my sandal. Alright, so. What would I need to go up against? Like Bard or Mage variants of Ultra and Mega? That might work. It'd be the best I've got, I guess. So there you go. Anyway, Pete's in the lead at the moment. And he's actually going to win, even though he's dead. Well, there we go. Nice one, Pete. Level 89 for you. More vitality. And guys, I thought we were done. We're not. But in the next episode, we will be done. So, folks, in the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals 4, the final part, we're battling Ultratus Omega, and we're beating him this time. I'll see you then.